unboxing from Pretty by Post. I didn't wait a whole month to open it this time, so these might be a little closer together than usual. Um, I actually didn't uh, expect to receive this. I won, I think I only won three free subscription boxes, so thank you guys for sending this over, over to me. Um, cause this, I believe is my fourth, not the best at counting, but, um, getting quite a collection of these little beautiful turquoise envelopes here. Um, I just love the way they package it up. It's so pretty and thoughtful. A little reminder to subscribe. Uh, let's see. This one is like a... Oh, this is actually, what is that called when it's um, embossed? It's letterpress. This is a letterpress card. Uh, these are usually really expensive. It's really high quality. I'm pretty sure that we're more than best friends. We are really like a small gang. Really, really pretty. I guess I really didn't have to take that out of there, but I just really wanted to touch it because the paper looked so, oh, it's just so luxe very pretty there's no good card for this I'm so sorry there's always like yeah this yeah I really can resonate with that because sometimes you need to send a card but nothing really really fits everything seems a little bit too cliche so I really really like that uh, you're the Amy Poehler to my Tina Fey this one is also a letterpress card with some really bright ink. I'm not sure I've ever seen a letterpress that's that bright. Oh, I love the stars. You are my everything. The constellations. I think this one's blank on the inside. This one is perhaps letterpress, but it, where this, um, it's embossed. This feels like it's popping up. So I don't know if that's like a reverse letterpress style um, or just something I'm not familiar with, but it's really cute. Then it has a craft envelope. Really, really loving this month. I guess there was probably a theme. I should read the postcard, but seeming like some classic letterpress stuff. And then a hand, well, not hand letter, but it looks like it's hand painted. Thank you card. The really bold envelope. Very pretty. So we have like three letter pressy type cards and then two also very high quality but not letter press. So we have a thank you card, a you're my everything card, uh, and then two kind of like girlfriend type cards and then a sympathy or a condolences, I'm so sorry, no good card for this kind of card. Um, so some very unique, I'm always impressed by how unique the cards are that come in these packs. Uh, this month, this one is definitely my favorite. Also, I'll definitely, um, no, I don't, <laughs> it's kind of like the times you're at a loss for words, right? So, uh, you know, I regretfully will probably need to send this at some point, but at least I will have the right kind of card um, to do so. And then these are more fun and this is a very... Um, stylish thank you card. Uh, so thank you guys for sending that over for me to review. Uh, if you are uh, thinking of subscribing, I would definitely recommend it. It's super high quality, um, really cute designs. Um, if you like sending snail mail, if you want to have, I remember one of my aunts was the best at sending cards when I grew up and she must have just had like a great collection she had this system where she like wrote your birthday on the outside of the envelope um, and a lot of us uh, maybe aren't that great at sending cards but these are really cute and fun and it can kind of get us back into that a little bit uh, old school um, tradition of sending thoughts by card which is so uh, so much more meaningful now that we can just send a happy birthday text or um, a thank you note an email to actually get something in the mail is so uh, special these days so I'll definitely put the link to that below if you want to check them out they have some really 
great quality stuff and I'll see you next time. Cheers!